Yo, what's going on guys? I've been kind of MIA the last few weeks, um, but that's because I have a big, big surprise um, that's happening today. But I'm heading to a place local to me, literally right here in Cache Valley, a company called Anti Shanty. They sell a sick product called the Dwell Shell. So um, just for comparison's sake, if you've heard of a go fast camper, it's kind of like that, but with some changes and some, a, a totally different type of system, but, but in a similar type fashion to that. So. I'm going to get that installed today. I'm going to bring you guys along with me for that install and I'll show you all about it, give you an overview of it and show you everything that's happened into the truck today. Uh, let's head over to Anti Shanty and get this thing installed. A little bit of background on these guys. If you haven't heard of Anti Shanty, they make some really cool stuff um, and they're, they're all based off of aluminum. So. They, they started years ago making uh, aluminum trailers, adventure trailers. Just recently, within the last few years, they started making a truck camper competitor to, to some of these other big brands. And so um, they, they've crushed it so far. And the, the biggest difference between their truck camper and other ones is that theirs is fully hard sided. So it's all really high grade aluminum, but there's no, when you open it up, there's no tent fabric or anything. It's foldable with aluminum walls that are insulated and it's it's so sick. So it's like for a four season tent, it's probably the very best option, especially for your winter months and stuff. It's it's literally turning your truck into a into a camper, like a true camper right? with, with no fabric. So no wind noise, uh, your insulation is way, way better and some, some really cool stuff that they're doing. These are a, a really, really high end truck camper. Um, it would be would be my opinion of it so i don't think i've been this excited for a truck mod like literally ever so i've i've wanted a truck camper system of some sorts for years it has just been like everything that i've wanted um out of, out of a overland camping type tent experience so um there's so much more to it that i'll dive into later and, and why that i feel like this is the best solution for me and for my family really it is so cool uh, can't wait to spend some nights in it I'm on my way home now. I'm uh, so excited to have this thing installed. I've been wanting one of these for so long. And uh, we got it on here. To be honest, I'll probably sleep in my driveway tonight just to test everything out. Super stoked on this. Can't wait to show you guys how this thing turned out. I already told you once that I was probably gonna be too giddy to wait and not sleep in this thing. So here's my driveway. Here's the dwell shell. Um, Tag and I, my brother, are gonna sleep in this tonight. So we're gonna sleep. I'll be able to give you my thoughts on the first night sleeping in it. Um, and then tomorrow morning, I'm headed down to meet a buddy in Salt Lake who has a used deck system for me. So I'm gonna go pick up a deck system from him and install that. That'll kind of help me start building out the interior. We uh, are gonna go to bed here in a little bit, give you my thoughts in the morning, and then we'll go pick up a deck system after doing an overview. I'd say the driveway camp was a success. I slept pretty dang good. I won't speak for tag. Um, but it was it was awesome. So let's do before I head down to Salt Lake and pick up a deck system Let's do kind of a simple and brief overview of the dwell shell So I'll just kind of walk you around it first so you can kind of see everything here. Everything's open right now I think it looks pretty good on the truck, so I'm pretty dang excited about it but there's kind of a overview there so you've got Locking gull wing doors on each side. So they have a single latch open. 
that's on both sides. They open up, they have lights. So you got light here, you got a light on the other side and you have a light up in the tent. They offer a couple different options for like cabinets and stuff. So here's the Molly cabinet right here. Um, so it actually gives you some depth, gives you a place to put some, put some stuff there and everything's Molly. So you can attach stuff there or to the back or to the sides or wherever. And then you can fit, I think in, like in my size of a truck, you can fit, so as long as you have a five and a half foot bed, you can fit four of them if you wanted to. Um, so they also gave me a standard Molly panel. So rather than being a cabinet, it's just a regular panel that comes out to here. And I'm not sure where I want that one yet. Um, or if I want it up, because I don't want to limit too much space being able to reach into the truck. Here is your rear door. So it works the exact same single latch. And then if we step up in here for a minute, here's where we can kind of see the whole sleeping area. So here is your two panel system. So this one is rigid right here. Your third panel stays. And these are your two panels here that kind of move and set into place right where I'm standing. Um, and so just like any of the other brands that kind of do something similar, I'll have to set you down for a second. You can take these panels and slide them across just like that. So that's how it looks with one panel in there. And then I'm standing where that panel goes. So you can kind of have multiple different configurations. These are just lightweight aluminum panels. So they just slide out of there. I was able to do that one handed like that. Right here's your third light up in the tent and these are all dimmable. So if I hold it down like that, it will dim down. Um, so pretty cool. Up here, you've got a Dometic rooftop vent fan. So if you pop the hood right here, that's what keeps it waterproof. This changes your direction so you can push the air out or pull it back in, whatever one you want, which both are pretty convenient. And you have a fan speed one through three right there. So here's what your side doors look like. So on both sides, these open up really big. Um, they give you lots of area there. And then you can pull them shut like this. And then they lock in to the latches like that. And then you also have Arctic turn windows here. So these are really nice windows that they use to install on expedition trucks and stuff. Um, we've used them at Adrenaline where I work. Um, and so those just pop open like that and give you some ventilation there. Then they just lock shut like that, super simple. That door is the exact same. And then this one back here is just a giant door with a handle. So you pull that in, lock shut. Oh, and then the other thing in here is, is the entire thing has this custom C-decked topo liner. So this is a, a thermo liner that kind of helps with condensation. It also helps with insulation properties. Um, so that just helps a little bit, keeps everything a little bit nicer looking too. Uh, not to mention that the actual panels on the outside are also insulated. So that's not your only source of insulation. Um, all the panels are insulated as well, like here on the roof. Um, and everything's, everything's super nice. A true four season camper for sure. So I actually am going to show you a little bit of how this thing closes. I'm going to set you on the tripod. I'm going to hop up there and close this thing so you can kind of get an idea of how it shuts. And then we'll head to Salt Lake to pick up that deck system. I think I forgot to mention that everything's lockable. So you got keys for uh, the actual latches on the tent. And then on all three of your doors, you have a key that locks those as well so that you can keep everything super secure. For anyone curious about mile per gallon changes with this, I haven't noticed any yet. So before I put the dwell shell on, I was averaging about 17 to 19 miles per gallon. I could only get like 18 and 19 if I was in eco mode on the freeway or a highway. So 17 was pretty normal. Um, and right now, going to Salt Lake, I've been through a city, I've been through a canyon, and now on the freeway, and I'm averaging 17.3. So I'm not sure I've lost any mile per gallon difference. And I don't know how, I didn't lose any. 
um, but so far it's been like the exact same as my previous setup so no super harsh cut even though I have a tent coming over the front now I'm back from Salt Lake let me show you what this deck looks like and then I'm trying to organize stuff and put it everywhere I'm not gonna bore you with all that until I have a good system down and I've tested it and so then I'll do a better overview video of the dwell shell and the setup in the back in back here once I have things kind of figured out to how I like them and once I've tested it a little bit. But for now, let me show you how this looks. So I had a buddy in Salt Lake that actually was selling his deck system and he hooked me up. So got the uh, legacy drawer system in here. And the best thing was that he had tons of the toolboxes. So we had two toolboxes, the bag, this one as well, and just tons of dividers. And I found that if you're trying to find those accessories for the Legacy series, you can't find them anywhere online. So it's really nice just to have all of those and not have to keep hunting for them on eBay and stuff. Um, we've climbed around in there a little bit now, and it honestly makes the height better. So when I stand up, I still have tons of room over my head to change or to look around or hang out or whatever. We can still sit down here, and it honestly makes it easier to get up onto the platform and stuff. So, so far I'm liking it. I'm just jumbling around trying to figure out where to put everything and how to organize it um, because I most likely won't be using all my Milwaukee stuff anymore. Um, I'll still use some Milwaukee stuff because the company Anti Shanty, they are creating some Milwaukee pack out slide ins and stuff that'll be sweet um, for more something like this size. So the drawers will have to go for now. Um, and I'm just trying to organize everything and kind of figure it out. Going to test the fridge up there. Um, I hate how in the way fridges are. When they're here because when they slide out they're in the way of your drawers you have to buy the super expensive tilting fridge slides in order to make them work um, so we're going to test out just using a little stool and then just seeing if we can't reach everything okay right here from the side and then all it has to do is just be strapped down rather than be on a slide stay tuned for the next video when i actually do a way better in-depth overview of how this is actually going to be set up a tour a better tour of the whole thing how i've set everything else up down here i'll have that coming soon once i actually figure out what i'm going to do with it um, if you have any interest in a cool truck camper like this go uh, check out the guys at antishanty.com they make some sick stuff um, would love to have you check them out if you have any interest in something like this thanks so much for watching guys catch you next time